everybody. I'm here with another November book haul because I got a lot of books out from the library about a little over halfway through the month and also I wanted to have plenty of reading to do over Thanksgiving break while I'm home for about four days with my family. I want to relax and read and I got books for myself, some books for my boyfriend as well, so I'm going to show all of those really quickly in this haul. The majority of them are from the library. So I got Tender at the Bone by Ruth Rachel. This is a book, an autobiography by her all about food and things like that. My boyfriend loves um, TV shows, like reality shows like Top Chef and Master Chef and things about cooking and, you know, memoirs and there's some graphic novels like Delicious and things like that that he's read that he's really enjoyed. So I saw this got really good reviews and I think it was mentioned on Books on the Nightstand so I figured maybe he would like this so I, I checked that out for him. He has started reading it. I don't know if he's really loved it yet, but um, that's one book that's on his nightstand. I've also got him a graphic novel. He, we both love graphic novels, but he reads quite a bit of them and more than I do. This one is Secret Warriors and Nick Fury, Agent of Nothing. It's a Marvel comic series. I think it's about superheroes um, or spies or something. I'm not really sure. Um, here's some of the graphics just so you can get a feel for what it's like. Um, this one looks really cool. I like the art on the cover. So maybe it's one that I'll end up reading too as well. We'll see. Then I found this collection on Goodreads called Noir. It's a collection of crime comics. It's a small little thing. It's in black and white. So just a little graphic novel about different stories. I don't know if it's mystery or detective. It features um, a lot of different authors here on the back who have great series or things like that that we've read before, like Ed Brubaker, Fabio Moon. Um, I recognize several of these names, so I don't think he started reading that yet, but um, we'll see how it goes, if he enjoys it. Then I got um, Hashtag Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso. I saw this, I'm not sure exactly where, but I just saw it and I felt drawn to it, and I was like, okay, I'm going to request that. She is the founder of um, the clothing company website Nasty Gal, which I've heard of a little bit but really had no idea about her story so I picked that up to read. This is another graphic novel I got for my boyfriend called Bandette by Tobin and Coover. It's um, about a girl teenage thief in Paris and he really, he's read this one already, really like simple graphic um, pictures and design. He loved this one actually and there's another one coming out but I think it's not till next year so he's really like sad that he has to wait that long to read it so maybe I'll read that one too since he did enjoy it so much. Then this is another book that was on my Goodreads list that um, I saw that it was short and then my library had it and I thought well maybe I can just you know it'll be a, one of those quick easy reads that I can um, just read really quickly over break. It's called The Mindset List of American History from Typewriters to tech mes Text Messages What 10 Generations of Americans Think is Normal. So I thought it was literally going to be just lists of different things that um, people liked during certain eras, but it actually has a lot of text in it. Um, there are some lists, like here, where he does just, you know, list everything out, but I don't know that I'm really going to get to this. It's a little bit long and denser than I had anticipated. Then I got A Month in the Country by J.L. Carr. This is a very small little book that I heard absolutely raved about on the Reader's Podcast, and I just looked it up and I was like, oh, the library has it, it's short, it's supposed to be amazing, maybe I'll get it, so I checked it out, it's kind of falling apart, <laughs> um, it's got a page missing, and the library, um, the librarian who checked it out to me put a note in it, so like, he's like, do you want to take it out or we can keep it, and I'm like, I'll take it out and be really gentle with it. I have started reading it, I can't say that I'm like really that far into it to get really hooked, but we'll see how it goes as I continue to read. Then another book that I'd heard about previously and I'd heard um, Simon Savage from Savage Reads and the Reader's Podcast mention before, but he mentioned it again in a recent episode I think on nonfiction. I'm reading or I'm listening to some of their previous episodes since I'm new to this podcast, and it is The Mitfords. And this is just a collection of letters between the six sisters, and it's called Letters Between Six Sisters. Um, I've started reading this. I haven't gotten to the letters yet. I've read the introduction, um, the editor's note. There's, you know, a little outline of the sisters. There is um, a family tree, and it is quite thick. It's something like 
over 800 pages, but um, supposedly Simon said he read this in like a few days and he just couldn't put it down. So I really, really can't wait to get into this. I have a feeling it's going to give me a huge book hangover, but what are you going to do? Um, let's see, then I have a second um, set of books that came in from the library that I requested again specifically to take with me. This one is um, The Forever War by Joe Haldeman and, um, or Haldeman, and this is a science fiction book, a series, and it is kind of short, got great, great high ratings on Goodreads. This one I got primarily for my boyfriend, but I, I like sci-fi, just I think this might be a little bit more of like military sci-fi, which I don't know that I really like, but I got this for him, so we'll see if he likes it. This book, oh my gosh, I heard it mentioned on uh, Books on the Nightstand, and I just had to have it. I had it on the hold at the library, and it finally, finally came in just in time. I think this is like the first thing I'm going to read, or maybe I'll read it in the car on the way over to my family. And it is What We See When We Read by Peter Mendelssohn. Oh, I cannot wait to read this book. It's all about, you know, how books paint pictures in your mind, how you see characters. I mean, it's just absolutely fascinating. I cannot wait to get into this book. I am so, so excited for it. Then next, um, because I had read, the, uh, my boyfriend and I both read The Happiness of Pursuit by Chris Jilbo, we got his other book, The $100 Startup, which is right there. Um, it's all about, it says, reinvent the way you make a living, do what you love, and create a new future. So primarily for my boyfriend, but maybe I'll end up reading it too. Um, another graphic novel series that actually I really want to read. I had seen this one. I actually used to have it on my iPad, um, and uh, I never really got around to it. Didn't really know what it was about, but when Michael from Books on the Nightstand mentioned it, I really, really wanted to read it, and that is Letter 44. And um, this is Volume 1, Escape Velocity. It's um, a sci-fi graphic novel about when um, another, I think another president comes into um, his term and he gets a letter from the previous president about um, telling him there's something going on in outer space and there's aliens uh, gonna attack us and this is what's going on and it's this letter that he writes and it's this series and I mean isn't that just such a gorgeous gorgeous cover so I'm actually really excited to read this one but I think my boyfriend will like it too and I can't wait to read the rest of the series and then I got this book which is the last book in a series that I read previously and I was just waiting and waiting, I couldn't find a copy and for some reason my library had it. I could have sworn I checked my library and they didn't have it, but this time they did somehow. And it's called The Morning Star by Nick Bantock. And this is a series called, um, from a series called Griffin and Sabine. Um, I'll probably do a whole separate video on this because oh, I love this series. I couldn't put it down. It's so uniquely written. It's not a graphic novel. It's like written in postcards. And you can see like here's the like picture of the postcard. Here's the writing inside. They write to each other. There's even um, letters and they have the envelope. And you can like take out the letter and read it. It's so cool. And the story is just so gripping. And this is the conclusion. But maybe I'll do a separate video to explain it because it's kind of confusing about how the two series go together, what it's about, things like that, but if you haven't read this, it's a little bit older, unknown gem, but oh, so good. And then I'll talk about, I actually don't really remember what this is about or um, what prompted me to get it, but it's a short little book. It's called The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Klassen, and I think it was recommended or mentioned in another book, or it may have even been mentioned in a book I was reading, I don't know, but I saw that it was short and my library had it, so I got it. I think it's about like um, investment and money and you know, like success and how to, uh, you know what, actually I think it's like fables about success or something like that, but I cannot remember where exactly I first heard about it. So that's it for my library books. I do have one other book that um, I got. We have this recycling center here in town where you can take like newspapers and cardboard and they actually have like a little like free um, area where you can like leave clothes, books, shoes, you know, household items and you can take an item and leave an item and I donate a lot of my things there um, and they have a, a book se section and I found this book there. It is Three Cups of Tea by Greg Mortensen and David Oliver Rellin. Uh, I've heard of this before. It's nonfiction. It's about... Um, a guy who helped out in Pakistan to build a school and all the amazing things that happened because of that. So I'm glad that I found that. And um, then I took a class here. We, they have some free um, professional development courses where I work and I've taken some of them. And in this particular class, we got a book, which is free, which is always fabulous. This is Positive Leadership by Kim Cameron. 
It's a short little book. We talked about it in the class, but I'm really excited to read this and delve more into the topic. It's all about strategies for extraordinary performance at work and in your career and things like that. So I'm really excited and I love getting free books. So that's it for now. I am definitely have a lot of reading to do. I've also gone and requested some books from the library um, at my mom's house because there are some there that my library doesn't have that I've wanted to get my hands on for a while. So if those come in by the time um, we get there or, um, you know, before the library closes down for Thanksgiving, I'll get to read some of those. If not, maybe I'll just take them out on Saturday when before we head back home and keep them out until Christmas and read them because I'm very excited to get my hands on books that I haven't been able to find in a while. So that's it for my second haul of November and all the books that I'm going to be picking up over the Thanksgiving break. If you've got books that you're reading over Thanksgiving, I'd love to know what they are or what your reading patterns usually do over Thanksgiving. Do you take a break from reading? Do you do more reading? Do you find that you read when you're home with your family or you're distracted by other things? So um, share your books that you're reading and um, let me know how you enjoyed your break. I hope you all have a 